Hey there Mega Man fans, Surreal Rager here and today I'm going to give you my first impressions on Mega Man 11 for the Nintendo Switch. This demo is available on the eShop for free download and will give you a perfect feel for what the rest of the game will be like. The demo begins with an explanation of the double gear system and technique, then on to the level select, which the only option is to choose Block Man's level. Mega Man 11 looks like a mixture of Mega Man 7 and 8 with updated graphics and that is a great thing. This game looks and fits well on the Switch. Right off the bat I'm looking forward to the real game to explore the levels, nerd rage, and die a lot. Keep in mind that Nintendo gave a blurb up about the demo saying, the content may or may not be in the final game, so what you play now you may not be forced to play again, which is really cool. I hope they scrap all of it and we see new content, because why not? The controls are responsive and feel great. Jumps aren't dedicated and any returning fan from the series will be satisfied. The sound effects, explosions, and rumble will make shooting enemies very satisfying. Charging up your Mega Buster is dramatic and looks awesome. The resulting charge shot is almost as big as Mega Man. I can tell this is going to be a very frustrating game by the amount of times I got a game over in the demo. When you die, Mega Man screams like a sad peasant and yellow orbs explode in every direction. Very sad. Luckily, for those not used to rage quitting Mega Man, there are lower difficulty settings. I tested the lowest tier and there are still many ways the game will troll you including mechanics and level design, enemy placement, and teasing you with free guys. To put it simply, this game is unforgiving. In conclusion, Mega Man 11 will fit right in on the Nintendo Switch library when it drops October 11th on the eShop for $29.99. I would recommend this to new and returning fans, but personally I would rather play this with a friend and pass the controller back and forth. I've played Mega Man 1 through 6 that way, and Mega Man 11 feels also that it will bring the most enjoyment out of the game playing it that way. Thanks for watching, this has been my first impressions on Mega Man 11.